Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Slightly, Ever So Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. Show, how was your weekend? Uh, it wasn't too bad. Uh, had a great first week of football. I mean, obviously, yeah. my Chiefs lost, but, you know, the Raiders we're gonna won. In, we're going to get into that a little bit later when we get to the football segment. Uh, but uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Some things we learned, some things that we're keen on checking out further. We'll call it further review because uh, some of it's going to need some further review, but uh, we will see about that. Um, I don't know how the weather is down in the KC area, but it's starting to get a little nippy. It is beautiful out today. It is wonderful. Yeah, right now it's beautiful. Yeah, this morning it was in the 50s, so you could feel a little chill in the air, but that's welcomed. That's welcome. It's better than a 100 any day. Yeah, it's it's supposed to be fairly decent going out. So I mean, it's football weather, you know. You kind of right, right. Kind of get your fur standing on end, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and as I get back to uh, further training as far as the running schedule, this is right on time for me. Right on time. I don't have to die out there. No. Now watch me go and have a heart attack. Um, <laughs> don't you do that? No, I, I don't. I don't want to find another co-host. Well, it'll be like weekend at Bernie's. Just prop me up and, <laughs> and say whatever. <laughs> That's a nice little office you're sitting in right like, there, my friend. Yes, it is. Big show. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to be able to have some sort of remote controls. Uh, Darian will be happy to do that for you. Fair enough. He'll Hopefully probably he doesn't up. charge too much. There's no telling what he'll say, too. <laughs> so, uh, first things first. Saw an article I want to uh, I want to talk about real quick because, you know, we like to talk money because we want more of it. Everybody does. Warren Buffett's got plenty of it. But instead of sharing it, he's just going to share advice. I ain't mad at him, though. Feed a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll never go hungry. Unless he sits near the nuclear Well, I, I know some, some pretty bad fishermen out there. <laughs> <laughs> now, in this case, Warren is talking about uh, 12 things that poor people waste their money on. And, you know, I pulled this up just to see if any of them, I mean, were remotely in the area of us or any of our listeners. So I'm just going to read the uh, heading titles on them. Uh, the first one was neglecting personal development. And I think we, we've all been at one point or another guilty of that, whether it be furthering our education or even buying a book that specializes in something that we want to do. You know, a lot of people disregard things like that. And... The thing I hear most often is people will wait until the time is right. If you do that, the time will never be right. The right time is right now. And I am guilty of that. Um, especially when it came to this podcast. Oh, I'll wait till I got this microphone. I'll wait till I got this camera. No, just do it. And, 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 and Warren would tell you that in a heartbeat. He'd say it a different way. Uh, he's not as warped as me. Uh, the second uh, one was uh, relying on credit cards. Uh, yeah, I, I've done that before too. You you can't can't play the plastic fantastic game because uh, what you put out there you will pay back. Oh the yeah, interest. you yeah you definitely don't want to use credit credit cards are poor people unless you pay them off every month. Mm -hmm. It's a poor people's habit that'll keep you in the poor house. Yes, it will. I kind of try to not use my cards unless, you know, it's emergency, emergency or yeah. va vacation where I know I'm going to pay for it when I get back type mm -hmm. of thing. Uh, yeah. Now, vacation normally... is a perfect place to do it. Even if you save up the cash, use your cards on vacation because you never know what emergency may come up with that you need that cash. Exactly. And normally my mindset is if I don't have cash, then I don't need it. Amen. That, that's the best advice when it comes to it. 
Otherwise, I'd have like three boats and 15 motorcycles. And yeah. And, and somebody knocking on your door in a suit talking about, um, I'm a debt collector. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I gladly pay you Tuesday for a cheeseburger today. There you go. Now, third up, he's got frequenting bars and pubs. I I don't. So that one doesn't, you know, get to me. I know there's a lot of people out there that like to, quote unquote, kick it on the weekends. Well, it's going to be kicking your wallet's ass uh, if you do it too much. Fourth up, chasing the latest technology. I'm looking at all the people that have to have the newest iPhone or whatever the fun gadget is. Yes, laugh at me because I've still got an iPhone, um, whatever it's called. Um, I don't even remember the name of it. iPhone mini. Is that what it is? I don't know. This, this little thing right here. Guess what? Laugh at me if you want to. It's five or six years old. Yes, it is. But it still makes calls. It still texts. I can get on the internet. I've got all the apps. I play the music. It does everything that your phone does, but it's paid for. Um, overspending on clothes. I mean, I, I've done that here and there, but I think the last time I really did that many, many moons ago when I was so much younger, worked at Oak Tree, Oak Tree Menswear back in the day. I don't know if people even remember that store, but you know, I was young then. I think I still live with the parents too. So I had to have the latest fashions and it didn't matter because I didn't have bills. When the bills came, adulting came. So much for the latest fashions. That's <laughs> all I'll say about that. Buying new cars. I totally get that. I really do. Um, my wife will tell you I still wanted that Ford Bronco, but uh, with that Bronco price... I was able to get me a car and her car. So yeah, I still have money left over. I'm good. I'm real good. I mean, I, I like my Ford Escape. It, it drives exactly the same as the Bronco would. I'm not missing it. Then again, you can't miss what you never had, right? That's true. Unused gym memberships. This one I'll never understand. I can't pay to go to a gym. Can't do it. I'll work out at home. I can run on my own. I don't need to pay somebody to use their equipment. I'll buy my equipment. Now, I get it. Some people may live in an apartment or whatever. You may want a gym membership. But if you get one, use it. You're investing in yourself when you get a gym membership. Let me repeat that. You're investing in yourself. Why would you let yourself down? Use it. Unnecessary subscription services. This one's one we talked about before, I think, uh, several months ago, just touching it. Uh, what was that? I forget the name of that company, True Bill or something like that. It's an app uh -huh. that goes on your phone to help you find unused subscriptions. If you got that much stuff that you're paying out every day, you need to have a hard, cold conversation with yourself. I know where every dime is going. I, I check everything on my bank book. I advise you do the same. Don't pay True Bill to do it for you and then kick out anything you don't need. Uh, and then it closes out with uh, over reliance on skincare products. I don't know who this one's pointing to. I mean, uh, yeah, soap and a good moisturizer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. Uh, regular nights out. Um, the key is soap. Yes. Yes. Use soap, people. Uh, regular nights out. I guess it's talking about uh, constantly hanging out and partying or whatever. Um, it's okay to have, you know, like we'll do date night once every week, every two weeks, something like that. Uh, but no, I'm not going out all the time. I don't eat out all the time. I mean, hell, when I was single, I didn't eat out all the time. You, know, you better get a packet of hamburger helper and sit there in front of the TV. Uh, I don't know. You know, coming those coming from Warren Buffett, I mean, you know, they're one of the richest men on the planet. You know, that's real easy talk. You know what I mean? That it's, is true. To, to not be poor, you need to know how to do a budget. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. And self-discipline. 
Mm. If you have self, if you have self discipline, you're not going to have an unused membership. You're not going to have, you know, going out every night to the bars. You're not going to have unpaid subscriptions to streaming services or whatever. It, that you know, true. budget and self discipline would fix all that. Yeah, um, and, and he also closes out with uh, gambling and smoking. Gambling is, for lack of a better word, is a disease. Or some people will view it as and I would say the same thing as far as drinking and smoking because um, you get wrapped up in it uh, I know people that need their two packs a day um, it's something that I've never done never smoked a cigarette so I don't know the allure of it and I don't know the feeling of even being hooked on it to me cigarettes are a disgusting habit and uh, if, if you are a smoker, the sooner you quit, not only the healthier you'll be, the more you'll save because I've seen the prices of some of these packs of cigarettes and people oh, yeah, are smoking retarded. at least a pack a day. Give me so that money. You, I'll take it. You know, you know, when you're running and that feeling you get when you run is just like, it's a, it's a, it's a natural high. Yes. That's, that's what people that smoke that they get that same feeling. Mm. I mean, so you can understand that's why mm. they crave it. You know, that's why alcohol and the, the, the addiction itself is a disease, but to start is a choice. You know, I was raised by two chimney smokers <laughs> and, uh, you know, alcoholics, you know, I don't smoke. I don't drink. Have I smoked a cigarette? Yeah. When I was a kid, have I drank? Yeah, when I was younger, you know, oh, yeah. but I don't, you know, I don't, I don't have those. Ad I have addictive behaviors. I just, that wasn't something that gave me the addictive pleasure, if that makes sense. Like, I don't I think, think we gambling all behavior. Of oh, yeah. Or another. I don't think gambling is a disease. The, the addiction is the disease because I can go to a casino mm -hmm. and I can gamble 20, 30 bucks mm -hmm. and walk out. And I'm not wanting to go right back to spend another 40, 50 bucks. Yeah. What's that but thing however, there are never people go in with more than you can afford to lose. Oh yeah. I always go in with whatever I'm betting on in one pocket, whatever I win goes in the other pocket. When the pocket on the one that has the original money is empty, I cash out what's in the right and see if I'm, you know, plus or minus and move on. I haven't been to the casino in years. I haven't either. But, you know, that when I went, that's what I did, you know. So, you know, yeah, I, I would like I said, for the most part, he's, you know, he's the richest man on earth. We should probably take his advice. And people that go to casinos understand this. It's a business. They are in the business of making money. It's not a place for you to get a magical win. They are there to make money. So, yeah, the house always wins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Period. And but the reason why is because you're going to, well, you're going to win a little bit, you know, you're going to get a windfall, you know, for instance, one of the f greatest stories, my mother, you know, God bless, God rest her soul, you know, she would go to the casinos, she wouldn't spend any money, but she would go to the penny slots and I would go and, you know, I would play uh blackjack or 21 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, uh, she, I remember we, we went one time and she like spent maybe 25 cents, maybe one 850 bucks off that one Ooh. turn. If she didn't turn around and put that 850 right back in the machine, mm. you know, but that's how the casinos get you. If you would just get up, take your 850 and leave, you know, but most people don't have that self-discipline. Mm gambling that might be a whole subject for another show sometime yes although <clears throat> i am i'm just gonna go ahead and say this i'm gonna add a a big show's you know point spread picks of the week so those people that do bet <laughs> you know i give you a little bit because i went i went nine and three last weekend hmm. but we'll discuss that later okay um i want to ask you a question and the answer is six <laughs> can't be six of them it, it, it's, it's a per person um, all right i sent you this it is a picture of john wick 
Din Djarin, oh, yeah, yeah. aka the Mandalorian, Logan the Wolverine, and Anakin Skywalker. And the magic question was, who would you want as your bodyguard and why? I mean, but you didn't give me real people. Well, I mean, I there's. Ho- I would hope you don't need a bodyguard right now either. Well, there's only one obvious answer, and that would be Anakin Skywalker. Really? Yeah, I mean, John Wick it would be beaten up by either one of those three. Wolverine might give Anakin a Skywalker a run for his money, but Anakin could just push him back to the force and hold him up, you know, you know, against the wall like Magneto does. You know, he do that to all three of them, and it's a wrap. Use his little Jedi mind trick. This isn't the guy you're looking for, and keep it pushing. <laughs> just saying. I wonder, though, what if Anakin turned on you? Hey, then I'm dead. But <laughs> you didn't... You didn't say Darth Vader. You said Anakin Skywalker. I did, didn't I? That's a good answer. That's a good answer. I mean, you know, and you probably couldn't go wrong with any of them if, you know, in the real world, nobody's a match for any of these people, but... I don't know. John Wick would not be able to take care of Wolverine. I know. Going against each other, yeah. But I'm talking about just any one of those out here in the real world could take care of you. Oh, I'm assuming the other three are after me, and this one guy's protecting me. That's oh, no. what I would. No, no, no. That's how I. That's how I pic- I pictured it. No, no. You're 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 about to go out. You're a public figure, and uh, you oh. just need a bodyguard, and you can pick from well, any of these guys because they're available. You you can't go wrong with any of them, but I'd still pick with Anakin Skywalker. I don't know. I, Anakin is a good pick. I'd probably go with John Wick because what he can do with a pencil. Um, but you're right. You you can't go wrong with any of them. And Anakin, as long as he didn't turn on me, uh, that's a good one too. Now we just did that for fun, kids. Now I'm going to go back to reality. I want to oh, talk oh. to you about... Uh, yes? No, I just left. Oh, okay. Uh, we had a little uh, freebie clip at the end of last week's show. If any of you stuck around for it. You know that we are about to talk about the Ahsoka series, particularly episodes three and four. And show, I wanted to get your thoughts on three and four. I liked three. I loved four. Um, I thought episode three sucked. Okay. Tell me why. It was a complete waste of 30 minutes of my life. I mean, they're, they're really, it really had no bearing to the storyline altogether with maybe the exception of the little bit of the training that ahsoka did with uh what's her face but uh, for the most part it had absolutely nothing to do with the storyline it was just a waste of it's like kind of like a filler they, they found what's her name ship though even though they end up crashing on the planet surface so they could have done that at the beginning of episode four or at the end, you know, and, and did everything that did in episode four could have been episode three and we could get a whole nother cool episode, you so, know. So you're basically saying episode three was filler. I, I, that's how I seen it. I, you know, if you, if so far, if you watch episode one, two, skip three and just watch episode four, you really wouldn't miss anything. I can't argue with you on that. I mean, you know, now, episode four was fire. I yes. really enjoyed episode four. Now, I, 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 I thoroughly heard, did. From Dave Filoni, episode With one five exception. is better than four. And so much better that he today put episode five out in select theaters. So if really? you happen to be in a city that's showing episode five today, you can watch almost a full hour of Ahsoka in theaters today. Nah, I'll now, pass. You know, yeah, I'm I'm like, I'll wait just a couple hours and I'll be able to see it uh, on TV in the comfort of my own home. Right. Now, the exceptions on episode four that I didn't like, mm-hmm. because before episode three or, you know, in between watching episode three and watching episode four, I started doing a little digging on characters that I wasn't really thought of. You know, I'm, the, the last uh, Inquisitor 
was you know is a good character and everybody was like you know who is he you know they were thinking he could possibly be star killer from the game of force yeah. unleashed or pulled, there was dave a, filoni pulled a ryan johnson on this he's nobody <laughs> yeah pretty much because they killed him in episode four You're like i'm like and he died too easily too easily for <laughs> being somebody that was that powerful so i was but very i was kind of disappointed could, in I, that. I could see him dying easily because if you've ever seen it's an animated thing called uh tales of the jedi mm -hmm. it shows ahsoka handling an inquisitor without her lightsaber just uh -huh. handling him. And then it flashes back to Anakin training her. If uh -huh. you see how brutal he was with her, you see that she's ready. Oh, I'm not saying that she wouldn't be able to kill him, but that fight really wasn't a fight. Like, I expected, you know, because let's put this in perspective. This is post Darth Vader and Palpatine. Mm -hmm. prior to Ray Skywalker being introduced. So mm -hmm. it's in that time frame between episode, what, uh, six and episode seven yes. um, of the movies. And so you would think that somebody would, would had, you know, one of the last people that are actually true uh, Sith or uh, dark side wielders would be stronger. Uh, you know, but... Yeah, Ahsoka, she took him out. Now, it's interesting, and I'm getting into a spoiler here, so if y'all ain't watch it, turn on your Disney Plus and hit pause. Um, that ending. Hello, Snips. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. can't wait uh, to see what's going on there. I want to know, is it a force ghost? Is it a trick because she's in the world between worlds? This is going to be interesting. And the reason why I bring up the trick part, right before it faded to black, you heard the Darth Vader music. Mm-hmm. So and I think interesting. I think that he is oh, what they call him. He was one of the three gods in that realm. Yes, That's who they think he is. Yes, because one of them is a dark side god, one of them is a light side god, and one of them is neutral. And the reason why I don't think that's Anakin, he's wearing his dark Jedi robes. When he actually died, if you watch the end of Return of the Jedi, he's got light robes on, just like everybody else. You mean when he came back as a force goes? Yes. Gotcha. I could be wrong. Uh, by the time this episode airs, we'll know. Be out so everybody can, you know, um, comment and yell at me or, you know. But say, one hey, thing I, one thing that better happen tonight on this episode is some sort of sneak peek of Thrawn. I'm tired of waiting. I agree. I mean, they're they're on their way to that galaxy, so there should be Thrawn. We don't want to get to the waiting. last episode and then, oh, hey, here's Thrawn. No, we want him now. Oh, but that reminds me, episode four, when they were talking and they said that Thrawn is the heir to the Empire. I got I like goosebumps. That reference. I, like I that got reference. goosebumps because I'm like, ooh, who they could know. actually. Timothy Zong novels, read them. Yeah, they could actually do the shows. They could. If they wanted to. Yeah. So, yeah. So, here's the point of the program that we all love. The National Football League. Yes, sir. As promised, as promised, first shout out is not AFC West. I'm going out to my sister, a.k.a. Debbie Wiggins Calhoun. Mm. I'm giving you props on them Dolphins. I'm <laughs> giving you props because, A, you beat the Chargers. Needed that. And B, Tua showed out, and he showed what he can do if he stays upright. Congratulations to you, Dolphins. Bravo. I told you they would cover the over on that one. Well, the Chargers were still the Chargers. I knew that was going to happen, too. The Chargers uh, right, always but find a way to screw it up. 36 to 34. I think the over-under uh, was... Oh, yeah, they, they clearly covered the over. Yeah. What, uh, 50, and I told you it'd be way over 50. You were right about that one. Uh, you were wrong about the Chiefs one. You were close. No, I was, I was right. I just wasn't on the over under. I had because the Lions were six and a half, and I said I would take the Lions with the okay. points. Yeah. Uh, but the, the over under was 54, and I figured it'd be a track meet, but it wasn't. Now, it's already been said about 
the Chiefs and Chris Jones and um, um, Travis Kelsey. Killer Trav will be back. Chris Jones has been signed. Now y'all got Jacksonville coming up. Is that a win or a loss? It's a win. You confident? Because this is at I Jacksonville. Mean, at so. They have a, I mean they want to avenge a loss in the playoffs, I believe. Wasn't it y'all that beat them? Yeah, but I'm sure the Bengals wanted to beat the Browns too, you know, avenge that loss. Yeah, we don't even want to talk about the Bengals. But I'm just and I'm just remember, saying that didn't happen. I, was, I said this year, I'm gonna see you did if the hype is real. Josh Allen and Joe Burrow, garbage. And I wanted to apologize to you. That was one of the things because after watching them, I'm like Maybe he did pick the two right people to follow because they both were trash <laughs> this week. Garbage, but, especially but guys, Burrow. But the two guys I chose, Carr and Garoppolo, balled was a pretty and you know, it was pretty good. They, I wouldn't they, say balled out, but yeah, they, they I wouldn't both say balled out. Won. Yeah, when it counted, they when they they yeah. put it on the line. Okay, I'll give you that. Now, I, I prayers and 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 you know fast healing to Mister Aaron Rodgers with the Jets because he blew his Achilles last night. Yeah. Um, the, the other quarterback that's on Achilles watch will be, uh, Joe Burrow because he had that same calf injury all through, uh, all through, uh, training camp. Mm. And so that's the same thing Aaron Rodgers had. So, I mean, mm -hmm. that that's what, if you have a, if you have a bad calf that leads to busted Achilles tendon so I wouldn't be surprised not wishing it on him but um something like that happens all right now uh Denver who was on the other end of that uh 17 to 16 loss to the Raiders by the way Denver fans out there did you not think it was coming seven straight did you not think it was the only streak longer in the AFC West is that one the Chiefs have over you yeah Remember that, that I, w I mean, you guys won, but I wouldn't be proud of that victory. I'm not because well, we have the Bills. I mean, a W is a W in the National Football League. I'll always go with that. But, I mean, the Broncos looked good. They did. They made mistakes. Let me, let me, let me rephrase that. The Broncos looked improved compared to last year. Oh, but no, so doubt. Did the, no doubt. So did the Raiders. So did the Raiders. Well, it didn't take much. It was just like, hey, get a lead, hold on to it. They couldn't do but that. But they didn't. Year. They didn't, you know. But, but they, they didn't get a lead in. till the very end. Yeah, I would say that last year, if this happened to the Raiders, they would have just, you know, fell apart. So, you know. Take what take what you got, brother. I mean, they, right. they did good. They did good. The Chargers are at Tennessee. <laughs> Can you say 0-2? I don't know. I don't know. Tennessee didn't look that great. I think they looked okay defensively. They lost. I know they lost, but I mean, bad. Yeah, it, the, the, again, the Saints. A again, thank you. I mean, the Saints, aka the Aints. I, I would say the Saints are going to be, you know, finish third in the NFC. I well, there's not much competition there. The 49ers are the class in the NFC right now. If you just go by Week One. Well, it depends. You talking about all around team or yeah? Because that that Cowboys defense put a whooping on them Giants again. Uh, okay. Again, the Giants. I told you. I the told Giants. you that was going to happen. Yeah, I you told did. you. And and, and I, I I take all those words back because I'm sitting up here. Oh, the Giants. Uh, th they're so improved. They made the playoffs last year. No, no, bro. I'm sorry. I apologize to you and everybody else who had to listen to that filth last week. So. I wash my own mouth out with soap and water. <laughs> I, I would say, though, right now, 49ers, Eagles, Saints, Cowboys, based on strength of schedule. It, it, 49ers, Cowboys, Eagles, Saints, maybe. I mean, don't overlook Washington. They looked pretty good. Funny you should mention that. Washington will be in Denver this week. Mm -hmm. I know. I and know. I'm going with Washington on that. I agree. <sighs> so, I've got... You Kansas guys are City, playing at Buffalo, Washington right? And Buffalo, yeah. I got Buffalo 
Yeah, I, I probably and, take and Buffalo. Somebody was laughing at me and they said, Hey, your team's in first place, but they're not gonna be next week. Yes, we are. Hey, you are in the first place as of right now. We're gonna be in first place next week too. Think about it. Do the math. If we lose and everybody else wins, it's a four way tie for first place. So we're guaranteed two weeks in first place. Now after that, hey, let the chips fall where they may. But I'm gonna enjoy I mean, the next two weeks. Eh, maybe. Eh. Uh but my three picks, mark them down. Tampa mm-hmm. Bay minus three, take Tampa Bay. Okay. Indianapolis minus one, take Indianapolis. Really? And Las Vegas is plus nine and a half. Go ahead and take Las Vegas with the points, but they're going to lose the game overall. Based on what I've seen, yeah, Buffalo's going to win that game, but not not by much. They're not going to win by 10. No. And that's the point spread today, Tuesday. It'll change by Friday. So if you're going to bet, bet now. Agreed. All right, you heard it here, folks. Show, take us out of here. Deuces. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the alert button. Love each other. Tomorrow's not promised. See you next week. Yeah, what he said. Good night.